No digas nada, ya lo sé Aunque tienes frío también Olvido que hay fuego en tu mirada Y es verdad Que la vida algunas veces Nos hace pagar con creces Y que el tiempo siempre tiene la razón Que al final Cuando algo te pertenece Un día inesperado vuelve Y aunque sea de lejos Oye tu canción No digas nada Por favor Quiero decirte tantas cosas Quiero acordarme de color No digas nada por favor No vaya a ser que me despierte De un sueño en el que puedo verte Y aún puedo hablarte de mi amor No digas nada de mi edad Solo te pido que mañana por la noche Dormido me des la oportunidad Y aunque te vea de otro color, otra vez puedo enamorarte. Puedo decirte la verdad, y aunque a mi lado ya no estás, dormida aún puedo mirarte. Y es verdad que la vida alguna vez... I will not say I intend to tell you a story. This is a little more than that. I once read a tale about a man who found a magic cup and learned that if he wept into that cup, his tears would turn into prayers. But even though he had always been poor, he was a happy man and rarely shared a tear. So he found ways to make himself sad so that his tears could make him rich. However, as the prayers piled up, so did his greed go. The story ended with the man sitting on a mountain of prayers with a knife in his hand, whipping helplessly into the cup with his wife's lifeless body before him. Perhaps greed is the greatest vice even known to man and forgiveness to greatest fighting. In between the two, there is always a thin line drawn with blood. I am going to ask you again, in case you did not hear me the first time. Where are the other documents? I, I don't have them. I am going to give you a count from one to five. Or she dies. Why are you doing this? One. I beat you. I beat you in ghost name. Two. I can't believe it. it's everything I've worked for. Any other thing, I can give it to you. Anything, just ask. 
five. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, please. The bedroom upstairs. The bedroom where? The bedroom upstairs. What you want is in the wardrobe. This meeting was scheduled for 9.30 a.m. And um, this is almost 11.30 a.m. Which means we have waited for almost two hours. And yet, no information whatsoever about our prospective partner. That's very true, Chief. Uh, please, <clears throat> uh, let me apologize on uh, behalf of our partner. I had called um, um, the lawyer earlier and she assured me that they would be here any moment from now. Probably stuck in traffic. She. Yes, she. Charles, did you know about this? I'm as surprised as you are, Ramos. Well, you will even be more surprised by the time you set your eyes on her. Because she's not just a woman. She's a special one. She's young, she's intelligent, she's savvy, and very daring. Wait a minute. You already met her. Oh yes, I have met her. Uh, I met her on one of my many business trips to Europe. And uh, stumbled on her business acumen. Very smart woman. I got talking to her about our company and uh, when I came back home, I carried out a private research on her and uh, finding what I found out, I decided to introduce her to the company. Excuse interruption, sir. I just wanted to inform that Miss Eva Montez at the Williams just arrived. Good. Oh, great. Let her in. Okay. You're welcome. Good morning. Yep. Good morning, Miss Montez. Good morning. All right, um, you're welcome to uh, Gordon and Johnson Conglomerate. Um, this way, please. Thank you. Allow me to make formal introductions. Um, here we have um, Chief Johnson. Right in front of you, you have Chief Moses. Just sit. 
seated by your right hand side, you have um, Dr. Ramos. Yeah. Well, I just said you have Mr. King. We'll call him the King, <laughs> actually. And um, to the far end over there, you have the gentleman, Mr. David. This is the team. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of formalities. My apologies, gentlemen, for keeping you waiting. I have other business to attend, and I hope it wasn't too long a wait. No, 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 not at all. Uh, we got the message from your lawyer, and um, we just tied in the details so as to, I mean, not to stress you with this process. <laughs> so thoughtful for review. Please, I won't go straight to business. Yeah, right away. Um, gentlemen and lady, if you would just um, open the files you have right in front of you. So what I see at Chief Johnson, you own 20% share of the company. Yes. And another 20% goes to you, Dr. Ramos. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yet another 20% to you, Chief Moses. And when I buy into a 20% offer, the rest of the secondary shareholders own 5% each. Yeah, of course. Quite interesting. And uh, Eva? Por favor, mi amor. Miss Eva Montes. Oh. I hate being addressed on first name basis. My apologies for that uh, oversight. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so, Miss Eva Monte, you will recall in one of our many discussions in Europe that I intimated you that this company would agree to this by, you know, because of our trust in your business acumen and ability to show up company profits and make companies achieve set targets. I will also assume that you have done your due diligence and you would have found out by now that this company, G&J Conglomerate, is one of the biggest and fastest growing indigenous African company in the sub-region. Evidently. And that is why I consider it good business. Good. good. <clears throat> um, I am a little curious though. If what Chief Moses here is saying is something to go by, you must be regarded as an accomplished businesswoman. But my problem is that uh, I don't know how you are able to accomplish all this regarding your age. Dr. Ramos, yes. I am not here for a job interview, please. When I decide to write an autobiography, my amor, I promise to send you an autograph copy. Until then, we have more pressing matters to endo. Please. Anyway, I didn't mean any harm. I was just being curious. Sorry about that. Curiosity, they say, is neither a virgin nor vice. <laughs> well, um, gentlemen, please. Um, back to the details. I, I believe that um, if we're all clear on the terms of this um, agreement, we can move to the next phase. Um, by that I mean uh, signing the necessary documents. Uh, unless, of course, Miss Montez here yeah, has um, some reservations. Do you, Miss Montez? No, no. Not on this list, please. Miss Eva Montez, we forgot to inform you that there will be a welcome party for you at Mercy Hotel tonight. And, um, you know, you see, it's been a tradition of G&J &G conglomerates. And um, we hope you will oblige to attend. Absolutely. I love passes. And it will be a delight to be there. For a young one of our age, I'm excited to a little bit of fun. Outside work, right? 
Well, gentlemen, if there is no other business, I beg to take my leave, please. Ramos, <laughs> we're here discussing serious business and you want to know how old or whatever happens to the young lady's age. So how did it go? Good. Just good. Even better than I thought. So, I guess it's done then. You finally have the stick you've always wanted to have in g, &G conglomerate. Sweetie, too far from done. Let's just say, I want more. <laughs> more? <laughs> Meaning? Convincing the secondary shareholder to sell that 5% share to me? And increasing? Which increased my ratio to 40%. And in turn, making I, Eva Montez, the highest shareholder in that company. <laughs> you sound like you have everything worked out already. <sighs> Cariño, let's just say, I have a plan. Ava, 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 Ava. I know you're an extremely ambitious woman. But I don't think you came from Europe all the way down here just because you thought this was a good business venture. I need to know. Why does the taking over of this company mean so much to you? My dear, you know you sure know how to ask the right question. But most probably at the very wrong time. My ambitions are nothing compared to my passion. Both of you, come with me. Just come with me. <laughs> and where are we going? You are just about. Lucy, there's a guy waiting in that car. He has a couple of information I need. Walk up to him and say the code word Malaga. And if his response is Tenerife, hand over this envelope to him and retrieve the parcel. Um, that is the sixth largest city in Spain with a population of about uh, 568,507 people lying on the coast of the Seoul of the Mediterranean, 100 kilometers east of the Strait of uh, Gibraltar. But I, but I think I like uh, Tenerife. Thank you. Here you go. 
I hope it contains all the information she asked for. I actually, it contains much, much more than she asked for. I want details. <clears throat> well, Dr. Ramos has a daughter and a son. Both grew up in the state and have lived there almost all their lives. Mike is a medical doctor. He's the chief medical director in one of the biggest hospitals here in the state. He has 3% shares out of his father's 20, and his daughter Mimi has a sizable 2%. Good. Anything else? Chief Johnson. He has a beautiful wife who is close to arrogance and jealous. You know, she can do anything to get into a fight with any woman who comes close to an inch to her husband. <laughs> you know, she was unable to give him a child, so they resorted in adopting Kenneth. What do you mean, Kenneth? You mean the financial director yes. I met? Yes, yes. He mm. has 3% um, of the shares, while the beautiful Regina has 7 And finally, Chief Moses. The father of the gorgeous Michelle, a very beautiful young lady who is madly in love with Kenneth. They are actually said to be married soon. Married, you say? Yeah. They are both getting married because of the family relationship between the two families so that they can maintain and sustain the relationship. Hmm. Interesting piece of information. Anything else of importance? Yep. Your. 30 minutes late for the party. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> See you guys. You did well with this arrangement. I mean, this is quite a nice party. <laughs> I'm sure she will like it. <laughs> like it. Absolutely. She? Which she are you talking about? Uh, well, um, I mean, uh, we have a guest tonight and a very, very special person. <laughs> Are you saying that this supposed that is all to impress a woman? No, uh, Regina, pardon me. <laughs> she is not just a woman. She <laughs> is a special woman. You know the word to describe her? Charming. That's what she Who is this woman that commands so much praise from my dad? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the woman in question is the new shareholder in the company. You will meet her soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's our new shareholder. Quite an interesting entrepreneur. Mm. <laughs> Quite an interesting character, I must have. Mm -hmm. But, particular, I'm particularly interested in her gods. I mean, she's full of gods. <laughs> gods. <laughs> That's a rare plot story. I just can't wait to meet her. There she comes. Aha! There she comes. Oh. <laughs> oh. This way, please. Oh. Oh. There she is. Please. This way. Oh. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> the delectable. Hello. Miss. Have our money out the weeks. What's the best party you got here? I just 
discussing less than a minute. I'm impressed. Oh, <laughs> you are impressed. That means that I did my job very well because, you see, I, I mean, I particularly chose this venue. <laughs> and uh, I am particularly glad that uh, you are pleased. <laughs> Uh, but before any introduction, which I honestly think can wait, uh, let me quickly take you around to see some of our partners because they may be leaving any moment. Ask you, please. please. It's, it's cool. Well, I'm gonna get myself another. Oh, you need it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and I'll try finding it. Good luck. Mmm. Mom, please. You need to calm down. All right. No, I will not, and I don't want to. Please. What was the meaning of that rubbish there? What? Please. Why does your father treat me with such disregard? By the way, who the hell is she? Mom, for the upteenth time, I have told you that lady is a partner. All right? We need her contact, we need her partnership to make inroads into the European market. I hope you can understand. This is strictly business. Granted. Well granted. Now tell me, which part of the business deal prevents your father from introducing me as his wife? I guess you're right, all right? I know you have a point, but please calm down, all right? That is not perfect, he's human, okay? He's not infallible. I don't know what happened there, all right? Probably he got excited, he got carried away, but believe me, Mom, take my word to the bank. It was nothing. You seem so engulfed. <laughs> engulfed, you say? I mean, why did you say that? I'm just enjoying oh, myself. Oh, quit the pretense, Dad. I saw the way you looked at her. You never looked at anybody since your last marriage, which I must remind you was your fourth in seven years. <laughs> Maybe it's time for the fifth one. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, my dear daughter, you see, yes, I may not have been very lucky with marriage, but you see, I have learned that Marriage is nothing but a man's ill-fated fantasy. Dad, it is. I'm getting married in three months. Oh, no, no, no. Yours is an exception because your husband-to-be is a very lucky man, okay? So, let your father enjoy himself. It really comes. This is just one of the few things I have to do to enjoy myself. Hmm? So, enjoy yourself and look at your man. <laughs> We've got company. And who is that exactly? She has been staring at you since we got here. And if my instincts are right, she's heading to what's up. What does this face have a name? Oh, 
she has Mimi Ramos. She's here. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I saw you walking a moment ago with the revered Eva Montes. What are you? A bodyguard. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm just a guy that will gladly take a bullet for her. <laughs> wow, very courageous. Felix Badmus. Mimi Ramos. Nice to meet you, Clinton. Trust me, the pleasure is all mine. So what do you do, Mimi? Well, I'm a student and um, I won't share my father's company. So you're a sport girl? No, 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 I'm not. Look, Johnson, I will not allow you to humiliate me like that. What was that drama all for? You practically ignored me. Not even a damn introduction. How many times are we going to go over this, woman? I hate it when you nag. For the love of God, were you the only one at the party? Why, 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 why are you so incensed by this? Can you hear yourself talk? My husband! My own husband is openly flirting with another woman. Complete. And he's calling that nagging. Why? What do you call this, Regina? What else will you call it if not nagging? I have explained to you who she is and what she means to our company. What else do you want? Huh? <sighs> Listen. I have had a long night and the last thing I am in the mood for right now is to banter words with you. I want peace and quiet around here and I mean it. How dare you try to walk out on me? Regina. Yes. You are pushing me. Hmm. You are pushing me beyond the limit of my patience. And you won't like what I will do. And what will you do, Johnson? What? Move out and live with a mistress like you did before? Or file a divorce? Look, I have watched you ridicule yourself and the name of this family time and time again. But guess what? It will not happen again. Because I have sworn to God that if you try it, I will personally I, Regina, will personally ruin your life, and I mean it. Regina. Hmm. <laughs> Only enemies come with such threats. And I'm sure you would not like to know what I do to my enemies. And you think that Regina is your enemy? Hmm? Don't say. Look yourself calm. Look deeply. The man you see staring directly at you. That's your enemy. Not me, Regina. Yourself, Listen, if it is about the argument with your mom, Father, this has nothing to do with my mother. Father, I need to move. I need my own place. I need to create my own identity. <laughs> Create your own identity? Yes, sir. You are my son. <laughs> ah, my sentiments exactly. 
I'm your son. That's my point, Father. Your son. Father, for crying out loud, I need you to understand that the son of yours has grown from a boy to a man. I've come of age. Look at my life. What do I do? I don't even see me. All I see is you, Dad. You. I work in your company. I eat your food. I live in a section of your house. Huh? Now you have laid down this grand path for me and I must walk in it. Even against my will. And now you have also gone ahead to choose a woman for me to marry for. You think that's the best way to live? Is this about the wedding? Exactly, Dad. Look, I think that girl is a beautiful girl. But at this point in my life, I want something much more than beautiful. And at least make that choice for myself. <laughs> the wedding date is fixed. Invitation cards have gone out. I don't know what is going on in that mind of yours. But whatever it is, fix it. Father, it's not everything you fix. But this time you will have to fix it. Because my mind is made up. Kenneth! 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 Ah, me, me. I would like to go up later for dinner with a friend. Dinner, me, me. Yes, Daddy. Do I know this friend of yours? No, Dad, but you meet him soon. Ah. Okay. All right, you will go. Okay, Daddy. But make sure you come back early enough. Okay, Daddy. I will assign my guard to you, and the driver will take you there. All right. Thank you, Daddy. I love you. Girl like that. What the hell? I don't agree with that. She's barely 19. Michael, you know I'm an adult. A fool. No, no, no. More than an adult. Will you shut up? You're not going anywhere. Daddy. Michael. Daddy. When are you going back to the States? To the States? Yes. What for? What for? Well, Dad, I'm not going there to do anything. I thought we've agreed on this. I changed my mind. Get ready to go to the States, Michael. You are going to take over from my brother. He's not feeling fine now. No, Dad. Not now that I have reason to stay back. Hmm. Reason to stay back? The lady from the party. Yes. You have any problem with that? No. Oh. I want to make her mind. Maybe we'll go back to the States after our wedding. I must say you look completely ravishing. Hmm. Thank you. I get that quite a lot. <laughs> I see. And um, you ain't bad yourself. <laughs> I would appreciate a much more direct compliment. <laughs> well, let's just say you've got a head and a cute face on your shoulders. But, but tell me, tell me, how does it feel like working for Eva Montez? Is she overbearing, egoistic? No, no, no. Eva is one of the very few people with a heart of gold. Mm. Absolutely loving. Interesting. And the woman is loving as you make her today. Doesn't have a man in her life. <laughs> Quite strange. On the contrary. She actually has a man in her life. Tell me, who is it? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. You might need to get me drunk to get that out of me. <laughs> Wait up. Get me another bottle of wine. Make the bread. Really? You have a lot of questions to ask. Yeah, that's not me. Everyone 
Like, I'm like that. That's yeah. Me, yeah. Um, I'm very inquisitive. And the the report from Senate about the oil blocks was sent to my mail earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. I think we should consider it. Well, um, talking about considering that report, I think it's good that we do a proper feasibility and then put it into a vote. I think it's an investment that worth the risk. Yes, it is. It's worth the risk. But let's not forget, gentlemen, that we'll still have to put it into a vote. We have Miss Eva Monte in the board now. Anything we do without carrying her along will amount to us, um, gentlemen like us, being faster than our shadows. Chief mm. Moses, I... Why am I not surprised? You... You have never been in support of this deal since its inception. What are you talking about, Ramos? What I am talking about is that I am a little uneasy with the subject fact that the Ave Monte recommendation and share offer came directly from you. So what are you insinuating? No, well, nothing. I'm not insinuating anything. But I agree with you. Let's, let's put it to the vote. Well, we'll put it into a vote. Luckily for us, uh, Miss Eva has the last vote. Fortunately or unfortunately, she can swing it whichever direction she wants. Of course. You are one hour late, mister. The spoil bride couldn't get her hooks off me. Too hot to undo. I didn't sleep with her. Anyway? Because I can't just sleep with any other woman except the ones I genuinely have feelings for. Feeling? You mean you base such an esteem principle on my feelings, Felix? Feelings do change, you know. No mine. I've loved this woman since the day I first laid my eyes on her. She's lucky, I guess. Then tell me, how will you manage to squeeze any information from that skinny brat? We have as much as we need. They're curious about you. You've managed to provoke some few interests and gotten literally everyone's attention. It won't be long before they start swallowing your bait. Then I guess it's time for me to change my move. And what is that? I love keeping my cat close to my chest. Ha. You have a call on the landline. Call. Yes. It's Mike Ramos. Muy bien. Muy interesante. Wow, <laughs> you look so charming. Thank you, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, please sit. Sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. Oh, who wouldn't wait for an angel? I could wait for a lifetime. Uh, I smell flattering. No, no, no. I do not recon my tongue to be so gifted. Mm, the doctor sure has his way with words. <laughs> Only when he is staring at such a profound and irresistible beauty. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I... You made me <laughs> forget myself. So, what would you like to drink? Um.
Welcome to my world. <laughs> you see, you are just stepping into the love boat of Dr. Ramos. I do not know whether any man has ever told you that you are a beautiful woman. You are irresistibly beautiful. <laughs> Can you tell me a little about yourself, your life? Mm. You want to know about me? Yes. So you want to know about me, huh? Everything. Everything about you. Okay. Anything? Hmm. I must warn you, Chief. My story is a little boring. I have all nights, darling. Okay, if you say so. And even we must spend fairly rather than ranting about my childhood dreams. It's so boring. Um, anyway, I have a question. Do you believe in love? <laughs> oh my gosh, please. Love. It's so confusing what that means these days. People mistake so many things for love. From my experience, love is the least powerful emotion. Love. Hate. Hate? You see, love is universal and very, very important in human existence. Do you have Anything, anything that you consider most apart from love. Vengeance. Retribution. Let's make it host. Okay, so, to what? Let me say, to the past. Mm -hmm. It is everything we need to forget. To the present. It is everything we need to live. And to the future. It is what? Everything you and I can ever tell. <laughs> Cheers. Salute, mi amor. Mm. Those heats must be going through a lot of strains and stress just to keep your so-called image of sophistication. Am I not speaking to somebody? Excuse me. Those heats must be going through a lot of stress to keep your so-called image of sophistication. Madam. I do not like it when people come close to me uninvited. It makes me really get edgy. And when I get edgy, I really, really can get uncomfortable. So what do I own this this thing, Mrs. Johnson? I like one thing about you. Guts. You've got guts. Compliment accepted. Okay. But let me warn you. I don't take it kindly with women who flaunt themselves around my husband. I don't take it kindly on being harassed and disrespected. Your husband for crying out is beneath me. 
other you. He flaunts himself like a reptile at my feet. It is no fault of mine that your husband finds me worth engulfing. It is a common gesture with the men I meet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I'm not choking anyway. I get that. You know why? Because all they see in you is the slot that you are. I will ignore that comment of yours and believe it's just a leak on your emotion. People then often call me names and get away with it, madam. How really are you ever mounted? I want to know. You want to know? Perfecto. You want an honest answer? I am everything that you can never be. If you don't mind, excuse me, por favor. Oh. Miss Montez. Hello, Mr. Kane. How are you? I'm good. I'm just, um, you know, thinking it's time we um, do away with the formalities. Mm. You don't think so? Very well, then, if you say so. Hello, Ken. How may I help you? <laughs> How are you today? Muy bien, gracias. Well, I'm actually thinking that we could do a drink sometime. What do you think? Drink? Are you trying to ask me on a date? <laughs> you got me there. You know, the thing is, I really didn't want you to look. I'm asking you out on a date. But look, if you've got reservations, I can understand. Friday. Sorry? Friday night is perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I know this African restaurant down, down the road. I mean, they have the best of African cuisine, so it will be great. No, but not that I'm Perfect. I'll be there. Hmm? Eva? And why did we stop Felix? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you've, you've had the smile on your face since we drove out of that parking lot. And what exactly is your worry? The smile on my face? Or the sight of me talking with Kenneth Johnson. He seems to have an eye for you. Well, the looks on his face is kind of um, confusing, but as much as I couldn't figure it out, I couldn't get my eyes off him either. Is this something I need to know? <sighs> Felix, Felix, Felix. Yes. I guess you're not too happy to see me. How come I haven't heard from you in weeks? Work, Michelle. Work. I'm a working man. I've been busy. Work. You've been busy. You and I know that I am busier than you are. So use a different excuse and quit the I'm busy anthem. Ken, I'm a woman, a very beautiful one for that matter. And there are so many men out there that would love to have me and you are here playing, they are busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Now that's the problem I have with you. 
you love to nag. You know, you just nag at the slightest opportunity. And then you make business comparisons. Now, what makes you think that I don't have a long list of women wanting to be with me? Huh? So, that is it. You see another woman. We have a wedding to plan and you out there flirting with women. Can you spare me the drama? I've had a long day at work. I am tired. All right? Can we not do this today? Please? Okay. Why don't you always do this to me? Why do you always make me feel like I do not matter? Why? Why? Michelle, stop. All right? I'm tired. I'm a working man. I'm tired. I don't have the strength for this pity party. All right, fine. I'm sorry I should have called you. I'm sorry. I, 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 I meant to check up on you once in a while. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm meant to show you love and attention, and I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not being as fantastic as I should be to you. I'm sorry. Please. Can we have peace now? Well... Not until you take me out for a dinner date. Then I'll know you sorry for real. All right. Whatever you say. Right. So, Friday night. I'm going to call and make the reservations. We have dinner after we spend the night at my house. Well, that is it. Did you say Friday? Yeah. And I will work. I am... Um... I have something to do on Friday. I have this engagement. And what kind of stupid engagement is that going to be? Must we fight about this one again? Huh? Look, I have something lined up for Friday already, okay? I do that on Friday. I do you on Saturday. Is that okay? Not Thanks. until I know where my fiance is going to be on a Friday night. Get talking. Okay, maybe if you should just stop shouting. All right, if you stop shouting, just maybe I might tell you. Fine, I have to stop shouting. Talk. Where are you going to be? All right, I'll have a dinner date with Eva Montes. And um, so I, I, I do her on Friday and I do you on Saturday. Eva Montes. Eva Montes. Oh, this man. You just love to dramatize, honestly. It's a harmless dinner. It's not what you think. A date on a Friday night and you're telling me it's harmless? Fuck you. What do you think I am? A fool? Ken, how dare you disrespect me like this? My father will hear about Look, this. Listen, don't, don't touch me. Get your filthy hands off me. Look at you. You hear from me. Michelle. Who invited you here? I don't need an invitation. It's coming to my boyfriend's house. Your boyfriend? Mimi. <laughs> what are you doing here? I mean, how did you know I live here? You weren't picking my calls. So, I decided to pay you a surprise visit. You want to fill in the blanks. I trailed you the last time. You know what? I'll leave you too. But handle this mess. Clean it up. Now. That girl. I saw her at the party. Who is she to you? She's my cousin. Now that answered. What are you doing here? Can't you be romantic for once? You should at least offer me a seat and maybe a glass of wine. We can go have a drink somewhere outside. Why? You don't have a bottle of wine in this big house. Come to think of it, 
Isn't this house kind of too big for just you and your cousin? Mimi, enough of the questions. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. What's oil for? Mimi, we need to leave now. That is quite audacious, Chief. Oh, yes. Are you sure you really know what you are asking for? I have been sure that I am sure of what I want from the first day that I met you. Let me tell you something, Chief. Your friends, Chief Jensen and Dr. Ramos, they both seem to have an eye on me. Uh -oh. Let me correct that here. They don't seem to have an eye on you. They have an eye on you, and I know that. And that explains why I have to do this, to make sure you don't give them any attention. Because, see, if I had my way, I wouldn't be in business with both of them. My thoughts exactly. Because uh -huh. among the three of you, you you are the most ambitious and um, I dare say you have the smartest head. Thank you. <laughs> mm. You know, I have been looking for an opportunity to be on my own. So if I had my way, I would buy off all the other shares and I'd run the company by myself. No, not by myself alone. But with you by my side. <laughs> Beautiful. Chief Moses, you know something? You are my kind of man. Wow. My kind of man. A sec, please. Take a second. Hello? I'm so sorry. It, it wasn't planned. She just showed up. It wasn't planned. You are sorry. Don't tell me you never noticed her training you all along. Where is this Basti for crying out loud? Where is it? What were you thinking? If I calm down, don't tell me to calm down, please. Don't, don't even start. Don't go there. Do you know what it means if she finds out I live in this house? It could ruin everything I worked out for. Everything! What? We will clean the mess. We'll clean it up. And how do you intend to do that? Leave it to me. I'll fix it. You will fix it, eh? Of course you will. Because you cost it. You cost it. Cojones. Soy yo y creo que sobran las palabras. No digas nada, ya lo sé. Aunque tienes frío también, aunque que hay fuego en tu mirada. Y es verdad que la vida alguna 
algunas veces nos hace pagar con creces Y que el tiempo siempre tiene la razón Que al final cuando algo te pertenece Un día inesperado vuelve Y aunque sea de lejos oye tu canción No digas nada por favor Quiero decirte tantas cosas Quiero acordarme de color No digas nada por favor No vaya a ser que me despierte De un sueño en el que puedo verte Y aún puedo hablarte de mi amor No digas nada de mi edad Solo te pido que mañana por la noche Dormido me des la oportunidad Boy Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making my day. Oh, you don't need to say thank you. I should be saying thank you. You don't know how much I need that is out there. Is it? Ah, okay, you liked it. All right. Um, so can we, um, you know, do this again sometime? Sure. Soon. But you know, see? You sure? Do I have your word, Eva? I trust my hands. Really? Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does that look on your face? Huh? Nada. Have I told you I like your heart? No, no. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Look at me and tell me no. Just look at me and tell me no. I thought part of the plan was not to let anybody know where you live. Is he an exception? I make the rules, Felix. And I alone can break it. Excuse me, I'm tired of this. a sentir la misma sed para que pensar y suponer no preguntes cosas que no sé yo no sé no sé dónde vamos a parar eso ya la piel nos lo dirá para que jurar y prometer algo que no está en nuestro poder yo no sé lo que es eterno no me pidas algo que es del tiempo
Yes. Come here. Yes, yeah, that's what you're going to see. Hmm. You look as ravishing as ever. Thank you, Mr. So to what do I owe this? Like seriously, Chief, we need to talk. We need to talk. And talk we will. <laughs> My guest house is just a few minutes away from here. We can go there and talk comfortably. I don't think that will be necessary. Uh, we can talk here. Okay, uh, make yourself comfortable, my queen. I so, love to sit close. Oh, very oh, close. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Oh, that's it. Thank you, darling. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm a very ambitious woman, Chief. And my ambition overrides every other sense of reasoning. I know you want me. I know you are dying to have me in your hands. So let's just say we can come to an agreement. A little agreement. I see. So what exactly do you want from me? 5% share after 20. What now? Oh, I... I think that's quite outrageous, you know. I think it is. Chief. Chief Moses. <laughs> I do not consider that too much to ask for a woman you claim to be head over his noble. And yours alone. I would have to think this through. And why are you still thinking about it? I will have to let you know that Moses has also offered. Moses? No. Eight. Eight percent. You're so sweet. Nine percent. What? Nine percent? Nine percent. Oh, Chief, you're so sweet. I in your mom. In yours, Chief. Yours alone. It's a deal. It's okay. Ten. Beautiful, darling. Mm. 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 You like that now? Okay. What do you mean you are pulling out of the oil block business? What do you mean? Exactly what you heard, Remus. I'm how. Oh, Johnson, I just don't understand this. I don't. Well, um, I have made up my mind. And for your information, 
I have handed over the uh, Canton supply contract to Heba. Ah, now I know where you are coming from. So this is all about Eva. Mm -hmm. Look, Johnson, you are just wasting your time trying to impress that girl. She is mine already. In your dreams? <laughs> Whether you like it or not. She is mine. Uh, her. Very good. Very good. I'm happy I met the two of you here. I have just handed over the rubber plantation transaction to the finance department. I want to inform you that from this day forward, Eva runs it on my behalf. Are you insane? No, no, no. I should be asking him that. But, but, but come. Are the two of you out of your minds? This girl is mine. Eva is mine. <laughs> Eva is yours? Yes! What nonsense are you talking about? Uh, the same nonsense you bargain here with. I brought Eva into this company. It makes no difference. My sentiments, exactly. Just as it makes no difference actually standing here and talking with the two of you. It's a waste of time. And for your information, let it be known now that Eva and I will be getting married. We are planning it. <laughs> Nonsense. I know you have a big heart. I mean, what can be, what can be more endearing? Yeah, you get? Hmm. <laughs> no, don't make that face, I'm serious. Are you serious? Oh, please. So, this is it. Michelle, are you... The girl you've been cheating on me with is this slut? Look, there's no need for your call. Hey, 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 Espérate! Watch your mouth! Please! Oh, you shut that stupid thing you call a mouth before I shut it up for you! Look at you, you don't even have shame. Will you shut up? Who is my fucking fiance? Stop this. Respect yourself. You are embarrassing me, stop it. Embarrassing you? You're my fucking fiance, you're telling me that I'm embarrassing you? It's not supposed to be backing me up. I'm disappointed. You leave this place, Michelle. What? Are you asking me to leave? Leave this place. You know what? I was actually going to leave, but I'm not going to leave anymore. <laughs> we haven't come, right? <laughs> oh. What, what? It's okay. No. It's at the end. No, 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 no. Really it's okay, please. I understand. All of this is my fault. Eva, I am really, really sorry. Dad, you can't be serious. Come on, it can happen. No. No way, Dad. And why not? Dad, it doesn't make sense. Look, it doesn't make sense in any way. Yes. Let me be the judge of that, okay? That's what you keep saying. Let me be the judge. And what's going on here? Why are you both arguing? Ask your father. Daddy. Ask your brother. Mike, what's going on? Dad is considering taking a wife. And guess who? Ooh. Eva Montes. What? Eva Montes? Impossible. No way. That's impossible. You know, Lucy, I've been trying to get this thing working. I don't know. Is it that the weather is not good or something? I have a program to watch. I guess the weather is not good outside. What's <laughs> awesome. that? I need to talk to you, Eva. What is it, Chris? <clears throat> I need to know what's going on. I need to know what all this is about. 
What exactly are you talking about? Everything, Eva. Everything. What, what part of acquiring shares from a company demands that you go out on dates and romantic outings? Excuse me. No, excuse me. I will wallow in silence no longer. Tell me, is there something eating you up? You, Eva. You are eating me up. Me. The fact that I can't have you. The fact that you can't be mine. Ever since the day I ran into you on that train station, I've served you with my heart and soul. What else do I have to do to prove my love for you? Sweetheart, so nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, with all honesty, Felix, I've told you there can't be nothing between you and I. Please understand, sweetheart. Felix. Felix, please talk to me. Please wait. Oh. But look, I've told him over and over again. That there can be nothing between the both of us. Do you feel anything for him? With Kenneth is different. Of course, yes. Seriously. Hi, how are you? Can I have two shots of rum? Oh, Ken. I want my Kenneth back. I want Ken back. Ken. I want you back. I can help you. I can help you have your man back. What did you just say? How are you going to do that? How? <laughs> if you do as they say, trust me, you're going to have your Kenneth back. Oh, really? Oh, well, let me tell you one thing about Kenneth. I. He is that kind of person that when he loves, he loves for real and he does everything to protect it. So, just forget it. <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> oh, all I just want to do is to kill that bitch. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Perhaps there's another way. No, there is no other way. <laughs> she is. What are you doing, babe? Jeez. I can't be with you, Ken. Eva, you can't leave me. Eva, you can't leave me. Look, I understand if Michelle and my mom are giving you a hard time, but I promise you, darling, that I will, I will work it out. Just give me time to sort these things out, I beg you. Darling, please. Can it? Please. I like you so much, yeah? I, I like you so much. But I don't see no buts, all right? I don't see no buts. The only thing I see is the love that you and I share. A love that runs so deep that you're having a hard time admitting it, it even yourself. Darling, I love you. With every part of me, and I know that it would kill me if you'd leave me, because I can't live without you. Please, darling. I'm not the kind of person I think I am. 
I'm not the kind of woman you should show this love you have in here. I'm not the kind of person, the kind of woman you should give all this love to. You won't understand me. Okay? You understand. Can you just stop beating about the bush and make me understand, darling? Tell me what it is I need to know. Tell me what it is I need to understand. Please. The truth is... Please. I'm in love with someone else. I mean... Way back in Europe, I'm married. Son, are you okay? I wish I could say, yeah. Well. Maybe what is wrong with you? Mother, she's married. She? Michelle? Who is married? The only woman I'm truly in love with is my pet mother. Eva Montez at Williams. What? I came to warn you, Kenneth Johnson. Stay away from Ava. What is the meaning of this? You heard me right. Don't say I didn't tell you. Stay away from Ava. Sir. Yes, I called. <clears throat> Mary, what's this memo I'm reading about company takeover? Where did this originate from? Uh, sir, it must be from the legal department, sir. I saw the same memo being circulated around, sir. Circulated around in my office. Who authorized it? For God's sake, where did this originate from? I wouldn't know, sir.
हेलो What do you mean liquidated? When did I sign a document like that? Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen to me, my friend. Listen, I never signed any document like that. I only authorized a share transfer. But hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will call you back. I'll call you back. Hello, Johnson. What in God's name is going on? What is happening, Johnson? If the house will be the last time, I'll be here. I have to let the past go. I know it hurts. I know. I know. <laughs> Your memories will live. Only forever. And the scars they create in my heart. <laughs> the scars they create will forever live in my heart. It will be in my heart forever. Daddy. Mommy. I miss it. I'm comfortable. I've taken vengeance. Please, please don't kill me. I beg you in the name of God. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Now run. Run and never come back. Do you get me? In peace, please, Father. My baby brother, rest in peace. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you, Mommy. I miss you. It's so hard. It hurts. It hurts. I miss you. <laughs> Goodbye. No digas nada, por favor. Que hablas del alma, me destrozas. Quiero decirte tantas cosas. Quiero acordarme de color. No digas nada, por favor. No vaya a ser que me despierte. Yo sueño en el que puedo verte. Yo puedo. Sounded quite apprehensive on the phone. Are you okay? I needed to see you, Kenneth. I'm here. Right. I'm here. I wish I could make things right. I wish I could change the hands of time. Don't say anything. Just listen to what I have to say. I love you. I love you, Kenneth. I've never loved another.
I lied to you that I was married. Well, the truth is, even if I love you, it's not enough for us to be together. How I wish you never came from the Johnson's family. Maybe things could have been different. Take this. I have summoned an emergency meeting to all the board members in the company at the specific venue on Friday. I want you to read it to everyone sharing. Do not open until that exact day. When you finish reading it, and you still want me, come for me. But I hope, I just hope it won't be too late. to go knock on <laughs> Promise me you will take care of yourself. Promise me that you always think of me. I promise you. I promise you. Yes, I promise. What is going on? Why are we here? I should be asking both of you what is going on. So what, why am I here? By the way, where is your husband? He's not good. He can't make it. Is he supposed to be here too? I'm so happy you finally took the right decision. To think that you kept all that locked up within you. <laughs> My dear, it was the right thing to do at that moment. <laughs> well, now that we're done, I guess there's no more battles to fight, right? Mm. <laughs> My dear Felix, I really don't know. Our lives is like a rose. You never can find one without threats. What? Good Come. Girl. Why are both of you here? I got an invitation to be here. That's why I'm here. Same here.
כן. I see, um, I see it's a full house, everyone is here, so that makes it pretty easy for me to just do this and get it over with. Do what? If you just calm down, all right? If you just calm down, you will find out. You will find out what this is about. Just calm down, please. All right, um, guys, I have this message from Eva. Um, I meant to understand that there are a few documents in this envelope and uh, there is a letter in it as well. A letter which I don't know its content, documents which I know nothing about. So I'm just going to open it for the first time and we'll go through it. to listen carefully. These are certainly not my words. It's a note from Eva. I have always waited for this day to come, where the sins of men will finally catch up with them. Chief Johnson, Chief Moses, Chief Ramos, you are a disgrace to yourselves. I wish I was there to see your faces and your frustration, like, but I can feel it right from here. Twenty years ago, you committed a great sin. You murdered my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Pascal, the rightful owners of G and J Empire. Yes, I know you're surprised. I am the little Evelyn, the one you murdered, her parents in cold blood. I didn't die as you wished. I was rescued by a good Samaritan who took me in as their child. And I left this country with them to Europe where I grew up, had good education, and promised to come back one day to take what rightfully belongs to me. And thank you for the shares you willingly handed over to me. I didn't have to shed blood after all, okay? Um, for the hospital, Mike, um, the documents are right inside the envelope with Kenneth. That goes for every other person. Your documents are in the envelope, except for the shares, which I sold already and given the money to charity. <laughs> Michelle and Mimi, thanks for understanding and working with me. Mimi, Felix sends his regards and says he misses you so much, especially the noisy side of you. Mrs. Johnson, go and ask God for forgiveness because only him can forgive you of the crimes you committed in the past. And that goes for Chief Ramos, Chief Moses, and Chief Johnson. I refused to hand you all to the authorities because I want to deal with your conscience. And finally, to my love, Kenneth. I'm so sorry I hurt you the way I did. Hope you understand why we can never be together now. I just can't be in love with the son of a man who murdered my parents in cold blood. I, I believe so much in reality, and I face it no matter how hard it is, no matter how much it hurts. For the records, Felix and I are not married. I hope you can make up with Michelle. She is. Crazily in love with you, Kenneth. Just make sure she's happy. Let's call it sweet with Kenneth and not the shovel. But here we meet again. I leave this to God's judgment. Miss Eva Montez. That's it. Now digas 
nada, por favor, que sabes bien cómo soy yo y creo que sobran las palabras. No digas nada, ya lo sé, aunque tienes frío también, aunque que hay fuego en tu mirada. Y es verdad que la vida algunas veces nos hace pagar con creces Y que el tiempo siempre tiene la razón que al final Cuando algo te pertenece, un día inesperado vuelve Y aunque sea de lejos oye tu canción No digas nada por favor Quiero decirte 